procedure that has to be followed so i guess uh, it is better for you that you follow the right procedure to draw and i'll name it a b c d e and f now what next is coming up is that so i'll just draw it with pencil first so that you have a very nice view of actually what happens is first of all i'll draw it in the normal condition where the pyramid that of views of the pyramid and then i'll show you that what actually has happened to it so i'll oh okay so we'll do one thing uh two of the okay wait wait a minute actually i missed one of the points which i was uh writing to it that two of the edges have to be parallel to vp so what uh, it it can the figure cannot be in this way because here the none of the bases are exactly parallel to vp so what will happen is we'll have to keep the figure in this way so instead of taking this as line xy we will uh, will be taking this as line xy this is of line xy why we are doing this this is actually vp and here this this line 1 and 2 this has to be parallel to what this has to be parallel to vp so hence we have to take this and let's not consider this uh, particular part uh, as line xy i'll just cut it off so when it is said that at least two bases a uh, two bases side have to be parallel to vp then this is one side and this is second side so this is how we have to take it so i'll just name it back so a b c d e and f and this is the center so i have drawn it with pencil okay now i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend my projectors upwards i have not used the section as yet i'm just drawing the projection of the so solids uh, hexagonal pyramid right now which then after i'll be cutting the section and then we will have a better view of what actually section means so height is 63 mm now height is 63 mm so i'll at uh, 63 mm here is 63 mm so i will take all these points i'll take the center from the center i'll take 63 mm so this is the point 63 mm now i'll join all these points to this i'm using a pencil because this is all temporary and when i'll introduce section you will be able to know that why this uh, thing is different from projection of a solid yeah now what we have to do is now i i have this so probably i'll name it for also this is a dash this is b dash and f dash this is e dash and c dash and this is d dash so now what is that i have this uh, hexagonal pyramid with me now it has to be cut by a section a plane say so if this is the plane i am going to cut it with this plane so now this plane uh, is 27 mm from the top so from this top i'll move 27 mm downwards and i'll cut it in this way i'll cut 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 right so how will i cut i'll first take 27 mm uh it is 27 mm yeah 27 mm two points this is the line and i will cut it by a plane which is there. to make it dark i'll use a dark color so say i'll use a black so it is clearly visible that this is my section plane which is cutting so i have cut it from here now what now what next now if i cut it from here i have these points this 1 2 3 and 4 this points now these are the points will be actually visible from the top now this uh, this if i take this as a center and uh, mark it as o then this o dash will not be visible because this particular part will be eradicated which we, i'll i'll take this and i'll throw it off because i've cut it so now what i want to view is that at this level what will be visible to me if this is if this disappears so i'll name it uh, as say 1 so this will be 2 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash and then again coming back 5 dash and 6 dash this is how we are going to number them and we will complete the figure what my visible figure would be that uh, is a question so this is what my visible figure would look like these will be the lines which will be visible to me and uh, this part will be visible to me 
this much of it will be visible now same thing will happen downstairs also downstairs means below line xy these points project uh, will be projected downwards one will be on this line two and six will be on this line this will be here and finally here so i have these points one two three four five and six and uh, i have to connect this point i'll i'll connect them freely chalo so that it is okay and i'll make hashes so this is what actually section means this is a section which is visible to me from top if i view it from here th this whole part first of all what was visible was a dot and these lines and these lines will be visible lines these lines which i these are all visible lines so these all will be visible yeah so this is my final solution of the first problem that i have okay let's move on to the second question which we will take it a bit tougher yeah a cone diameter of base 60 mm and height 75 mm is resting on hp on one of its generators again uh, first of all it will be lying on its base then we will keep it on its generator with axis parallel to vp it is cut by horizontal section plane passing through a point on axis 50 mm away from the apex now draw the elevation and the sectional plan what is basically going to happen is that first of all we are going to draw a cone which is lying on its base on hp then uh, it will be of this sort it will be lying on hp so when we are viewing it from the front you will be able to see a triangle and when you are uh, like this and when you are viewing it from the top you will be seeing a circle with a, a dot at the center and then what will happen is we will take it up and we will uh, keep it uh, one of its generator will be kept on hp so the base will be making some angle with respect to hp and then later on we will be using a plane to cut it which will be 50 mm uh, yeah so 50 mm yeah which will be 50 mm away from the apex so its elevation and sectional plan will be visible to us so let's get on to uh, drawing that so first is always line xy this is line xy the next uh, what is there is we need to draw our base circle base circle is again of 60 mm diameter take seal take your compass 3 mm would be the 30 mm would be your radius or 3 cm mark the center point keep it here draw your circle in this way i have marked this point then next is i'll have to make it dark yeah so i have made it dark next is that i will divide this circle into eight parts So I have a very good division and mark them this is the center say o a b c d e f g h then so divide it now let's extend upwards
Now why this line? Because this is center line. So we have to measure uh, 75 mm of uh, it on that. So that's why I have taken this is 75 mm. I'll just join the lines. Okay. And then the outer edges can be drawn. Okay, the points will be as this is A dash, this is B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash. This is how you should do it. O, so this is O dash. And if you want to mark the center, then you can mark the center using dashed lines. This is the center. Now we have to do is we have to keep this here as we did in a lot of problems. This point is marked as C1 dash. The measurement is taken from this point. So C is marked. And next we can do it this way. We'll be marking this point C. To A, which is this much away, and again the distance between O and A is there, so we can keep it here and cut it here. So this has been obtained by us. Now let's complete the figure. Oh, this is the figure that we have and let's mark them oh here is my favorite color o1 dash this point is c so this becomes this is c1 dash and this is a1 dash and now let's mark the other three points okay so it's from here Done, done, done. So, naming these points as well. A, B dash, H dash, C dash, G dash, D dash, and F dash. And let's ma mark the center line also. Okay. Now, what uh, the problem says is that. Uh, 50 mm away from the apex the plane will be lying ho cutting horizontally so this is the apex so 50 mm means 5 centimeters so it will be cutting the line from through this point so exactly at the center what i'll do is parallel to line xy this will be the plane that will be cutting at the cone so th this all above section which is there this above this line will be chopped off and we will have different points uh, on this line. I have this point, I have this point, and I have this point. So I'll name it one, two, three, and then again I will uh, go on marking uh, more of them. Yeah, I'll ma mark more of them as. Uh, four i'll have four of the points to make me sure now let's do one thing let's first draw the projectors of the original line and let's have the cone which is there in this condition okay c okay these points have to be extended as well mm. so here we go C is at the center, D will be here, these are the two points, this is one point, A and E will be at the extremes, 
and it will be here also hnf hnf will be this way these two points and g finally would be at here so this is the point okay oh sorry this this is not the point the line is coming from here this is a and e finally this is this is c okay and this one is oh i will just mark them with black so that o1 these are all the points o1 c1 d1 e1 f1 g1 h1 a1 b1 right now i'll connect it with pencil and this too i'll connect it with pencil so this is the projection that i had now what is there is i cut this plane with uh, this line so these points will be the, uh, broadcasted uh, on this line so this is coming here so what i'll do is this goes here 2 and 4 would be cutting it here and this point will be uh, cutting it on these two lines so what I have now is these points which are going to be cut off so I'll use a black pen to draw a this this will be what we chopped off and this will be actual remaining section and this whole section would be chopped off so this is how a section uh, sectional view is generally